Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Destiny video. Today the three-man mana spoiled a couple more cards for Way of the Force. So we're just going to go ahead and take a look at these cards, going to get my thoughts on them. Got a bit of a sore throat, but we're just going to go ahead and power through it and get these cards uh, revealed here and discussed. So first card up here is Executioner, um, red um, villain, uh, not unique, 8 health, 8 points, so again that 1 to 1 ratio. Uh, sides, we have one melee, two melee, two melee for a resource, resource, um, two blanks, and an ability. It's also a trooper character, so anything that will trigger off of troopers or help troopers out will work with the executioner. After an opponent's character is defeated, you may roll this die into your pool. So potentially you'll be able to roll him out, roll out a baby another character, do some damage, defeat a character, and then roll the Executioner back into your pool and potentially do more damage. So we have, uh, again, three damage sides, one of them resource costed, one of them the pay side, but you can use something like Electro Staff to make those um, not pay, or not pay if you are um, modifying the, the Executioner's die. So again, a Trooper, uh, non-unique, eight health for eight points, which is always good to have these one-to-one -one ratios. Uh, again, three damage sides, it has a resource too, so it can make money. So you can potentially roll it out, get a resource possibly, um, roll in another character, defeat an opponent's character, and then get a second chance at rolling the Executioner back in. Um, and if you, or if you use a deck that, let's say you're just doing um, three Executioners, and maybe like a, a Jawa or a Battle Droid or something, you could potentially um, defeat a... Um, character with one of the executioners and then roll in your other executioner to roll them back in because after, like you said, after the character gets defeated you get to roll the die back into the pool. Again, sorry about the, the throat here. But I think this could be a good uh, non-unique. You could run it with something, let's say, two executioners and potentially Mother Talzin so you can uh, fix their dice because they do have the double blanks. So you could um, use Talzin's ability to flip them into damage uh, maybe damage with do, tal do damage with Talzin as well, and then get multiple activations out of these guys. So that is the Executioner. We're going to move into our next card. And next up, we have the Executioner's Axe. Uh, two resources, red uh, villain upgrade weapon. Uh, one melee damage, two melee damage for a resource, plus two melee damage. Resource, two blanks. And after, a opponent's, after an opponent's character is defeated, you may roll this die into your pool. So, you throw this on the Executioner, and when you defeat an opponent's character, both the Executioner character die and the Axe um, upgrade die will be able to be rolled back in. So, um, two resources I think is uh, pretty good for this. Um, one of the sides, of course, is resource costed, and one of the sides is modified. But if you roll it in with another melee character, or even the Executioner themselves, you have a chance of possibly hitting uh, multiple melee damage with it. And then I really like the ability of defeating the character. You can then roll this particular die back in your pool. So to make the most of it, you're going to want this on an Executioner. But you could also put it on another character. Let's say you put it on, like, Duke. You could do something like um, Elite Dooku, New Dooku, and a single execu Executioner. Let's say you have this on Dooku, and you um, defeat a character. Let's say Dooku's already rolled out, and um, you've already resolved this die. You defeat the character, and then you roll the axe back in. So, really interesting cards here. I also like the that you can use this with maybe like FN, with nines. Put it on nines, uh, roll it in, and then potentially, let's say you rolled it in and defeated a character defeated a character with it, or other dice are already there, you then get to roll it back in as well. Now, nines, of course, has been severely nerfed after the upgrade or overwrite rule came out, uh, like the end of last summer. But, this could go well on him, so you play it on him, roll it in, resolve it, then roll him in, roll him in and then, uh, let's say, defeat a character, and roll the axe back out. So, Executioner, Executioner's Axe, I think, uh, is decent. I like the ability and how it synergizes with the Executioner. Being able to basically allow you to get a complete activation out of that character, providing you're only running the Executioner with the Axe, or maybe multiple copies of the Axe. So, like, if you have an Executioner, maybe with two Axes, you then um, 
resolve, kill a character, and then roll in both axes plus the executioner. So that is the executioner's axe. Again, these were revealed by the three-man meta. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check them out and check out their uh, reveal on these cards. That's going to do it for uh, this video. Um, hopefully we'll get more spoilers maybe in another day or two. And of course, I'll be doing video or videos for all that stuff. And hopefully my throat will be a little bit better then as well. But that's going to do it for now. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.